Welcome to our live training session number 11. We're going to be tuning a Honda S2000 using a Haltech Pro plugin. Now let's jump into some details about this vehicle. It's a AP1 S2000 fitted with an AP2 engine, which is an F22C engine. The engine is internally stock. It has a password, JDM intake, a tow to header, high flow cat, and a Mugen exhaust. It also has a drop in fuel pump, an oil pressure sensor, an oil temp sensor. It has a wide band and a race pack dash to go along with our Haltech Pro plugin. So let's jump into our live training session here so we can create our base calibration and get our engine fired up. Welcome to our live training session number 11. We're going to be tuning this Honda S2000 using a Haltech Pro plugin. Let's jump into our ECU manager now so we can create the base calibration file to get this live training session started. So let's jump in here and go to open. I'm going to go up here to base maps in my directory documents or my documents, Haltech, ECU maps. Move into our base map folder. This is going to be where we find our base calibration files for the Haltech Pro plugin series. We're going to go down here to our third choice, or in my case, my third choice. You're not going to have this file here. My Pro AP1 113. This is going to be my base calibration file for an AP1 S2000. Let's click open here and allow it to load. Now, this file will start and run this car because it's basic in modification. It only has bolt ons, has stock injectors, um, pretty much all stock, everything else, stock cams. Um, it's not going to be optimal for this engine. We can definitely optimize this and definitely improve upon it. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video here. So this, yes, this could start and run this, but no, it is not going to be optimal. I mean, you could drive on it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you definitely want to go ahead and do a custom tune when you have something like this. So the first thing we're going to do is jump in here to our setup. And we're going to go here and go through all the settings. So we make sure everything is going to be right for this particular car. So the first thing we're going to do here under engine info, we'll go to tuning method. We're going to leave this on VE. We have some other options, injection time, lambda correction. VE is going to be the most useful right now, so I'll keep it on volumetric efficiency. Now the fuel load source and the ignition load source, we have some options. We can do either MAP, TPS, or MAF. We don't have a mass airflow sensor, so we're not going to be using that. And throttle position would be useful if we're going to be mapping this with the individual throttle bodies in the alpha end mode, or if we had individual throttle bodies and boost, or if we had really big cams and or a really large throttle body that pulled really poor engine vacuum at idle, we might have to map it be based on TPS. But in this case, we can properly characterize everything on our map sensor reading alone. So I'm gonna keep it on that to keep things simple. Now, the next part here, a primary map sensor, this is gonna be a detail that you need to make sure you pay attention to. We have the option to go in and select either a manifold pressure sensor one or a two. And the reason why we have that is the OEM map sensor, in this case, is our manifold pressure one. It's going to be defaulted to that. If we actually jump into inputs here, we can see that the scale, the calibration scale, is going to be set up. This map sensor is the OEM map sensor is about a 1.7 bar, 1.75 bar. It goes up to about approximately 10 psi boost. So we can see the scale is going to be set here, and that's the default set in basic here in our manifold pressure sensor one. Now we do have the option. If we don't want to go and purchase a aftermarket map sensor, let's say a, two, a three bar or a four bar, we want to run boost and we want to run more than 10 pounds, but we're 